Rapunzel's Tangled Story is coming to the end! What will the LOL Disney doll show us this time? Keep on watching on Lalalu! Eugene, also known as Swashbuckler Flynn, and his horse Maximus, rush to find Rapunzel! I see hair! It means she's still in the castle! And the hero runs to save his beloved! I was afraid I wouldn't find you! Mother Gothel treacherously <laughs> injures him! Rapunzel, what have you done? That's fine, no one will find it out! Let me heal him and I'll do whatever you want! I'll never run away from here! The girl runs to Eugene! He was getting weaker! Having one last breath left, he quickly cuts off Rapunzel's braid when he realizes that Gothel only needs her hair. The hair becomes brown right away and the magic is lost. What have you done? The mother was complaining. <gasps> Gothel was puzzled. She went backwards, tipped over, and fell from the high tower. <laughs> Rapunzel's magical tear fell on Eugene's chest and healed his wounds. <gasps> <laughs> After the power of Rapunzel's hair was lost, she had to say goodbye to her white hair. The new hairstyle will be way shorter. Take brown light clay, knead it and make thin rolls. Attach them to the head and trim. Slightly press each strand with a knitting needle. Attach the rest one after another, making a part and a slightly messy hairstyle. I need some time to get used to my new hair! By the way, Eugene said that he likes brown-haired <laughs> girls! Let's DIY Rapunzel's mom, Queen Ariana! There are so many old dolls! Pick out one for this role! Change the color of the eyes! Shape the eyebrows with brown acrylic paint! Let's make a wig! First, cover the head of the doll with saran wrap! Then apply white glue! Cover it with a dried wet wipe on top. We can remove the wrap when the wipe soaked with the glue is dry. Mark the edges of the cap with a marker. Cut off the excess. Now we can get to the hair. Take a coil of brown nylon thread. Wrap it around your hand and cut on one edge. Hot glue the threads all over the perimeter of the wig. Attach some threads to the inside. Trim to get the needed length. Brush and put some of it into a high ponytail. Trim the ends. Can a royal hairdresser copy this hairstyle? We only need an outfit. Cut off two pieces of tulle. And the sleeves for the dress are done. Take a piece of beige fabric, fold it in half, and cut out holes for the neck and arms. Sew the top on the edges and turn it right side out. Put the dress top on the doll. Decorate the neckline with a thin satin ribbon. And attach a piece of lace to the front of the dress. Cut the fabric into a few thin strips and decorate the bottom of the sleeves with it. Decorate the shoulders with ruffles. When the dress top is done, we can move on to the bottom. Make an underskirt from a piece of satin fabric. Top of that, we'll have a beige skirt with a cut. Decorate the edges with a pearly acrylic paint. Make a shining strip using a thin brush. One main thing is missing. A tiara! Cut a zigzag from glitter gold foam paper, leaving strips on the sides. And glue a wire along it. Decorate the crown with a big pearl in the center. Give the sparkling tiara to the owner and a pair of pearly earrings. Queen Ariana looks stunning! <laughs> Even the shabbiest doll can become a king! You don't believe us? Watch! This baby needs her hair fixed for sure! For starters, cut off the tangled ends. Wipe off the lashes with a nail polish remover. And we'll hide the mouth under a mustache and a beard. Cut little pieces off a hair extension. Glue on the beard and the mustache and trim it with scissors. 
Paint bushy brown eyebrows and move on to the clothes. Fold stretchy fabric in half and cut out a shirt. Sew it on the side and the sleeves. Fold it in half once again. Cut out a neckline and turn it right side out. Add an elegant collar. Try it on the king and add a triangular cut. Make puffy sleeves from strips of stretchy fabric. Pull the thread and glue the pieces to the shoulders. <laughs> Add a brown leather belt to the shirt. One, two, and a pair of pants becomes a pair of royal trousers. Put a royal cape on top. Cut the suitable piece of fabric and add armholes. We'll be decorating it with strips of faux fur. Glue white fur along the collar. When the outfit is done, the king is only missing a crown. Cut it out of glitter foam paper. Decorate with luxurious sparkling rhinestones. Make a chest necklace for the king from another strip of foam paper and rhinestones. Paint the boots dark brown. <laughs> king Frederick was wandering through the halls alone. So many years have passed, but he was still grieving his daughter. He was trying to distract himself with a book when he heard steps outside. Rapunzel and Eugene came back to the castle. He brought the girl to her real parents, the king and the queen. Mom and dad couldn't believe their eyes. Rapunzel, daughter, and you, come here right now. Eugene felt at home and the family was finally together. A new life and a wedding are ahead. The prince-to-be needs to change his swashbuckler shirt for something more decent. DIY a jacket from white satin fabric. Cut out a rectangle. Bend the edge and cut off flaps for armholes. Change the shirt. Try on the vest. And decorate it with a fancy ribbon. Sew a thin white ribbon to a golden wide ribbon. Cut off the edges and paint a gold line on the white ribbon. Decorate it with a gold metallic sun. <laughs> and for Rapunzel, we'll make a wedding dress and a veil. Measure the doll and cut out a dress as a single piece. We'll also need glittery tulle. Cut half a circle from it. Make three holes for neck and arms. Put the tool on the dress and wrap a silver cord around to be a belt. Also cut out a veil from tool. A crown with precious stones. How beautiful! Apply hot glue to it and fasten the veil inside. What a stunning dress! This kingdom has never seen such a beautiful bride before. <laughs> Rapunzel isn't sad about her hair anymore because what she got in return is really valuable. <laughs> a priest will be officiating at the ceremony according to the tradition. Cut off the pigtails and cover the holes with hot glue. Paint the hair and the eyebrows gray so he looks old. Wipe off the lashes. Cut outfit details from purple and white foam paper. Glue them onto each other. Trace with gold acrylic paint. Add decorations with it too. Put the cassock on top of the dress and cover the neckline with a strip of white foam paper. Don't forget about shoes. The ceremony has to take place in a nice setting. Make an arch from floral wire. Wrap decorative vines around it and add artificial flowers. It seems that the most beautiful flowers decided to bloom today. It's all done! Maximus is excited! The time we've all been waiting for has come! You can hear Rapunzel's steps like bells. Maximus, please watch the rings! The guests gasp the moment they see the bride. Eugene and Rapunzel, I now pronounce you husband and wife.
exchange the rings. Since then, the couple stayed together forever. The people loved Rapunzel as she wisely ruled the kingdom. Well, this bride was well worth the waiting. Did you like our fairy tale? Hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Lalaloo. Click on the bell so you don't miss a new DIY video.